Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I wanted to uh, quickly and briefly explain um, what happened to Microsoft Stream. I want to explain the transition from uh, what we call Stream Classic to Stream on SharePoint. So uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So Stream is essentially an application that's part of Microsoft uh, 365. And think of it as um, your company's video hosting platform, almost like uh, your company's your own YouTube you know, portal, right? This is where you store the videos, all right, uh, essentially. So the idea uh, in the old days was that you would use you know, SharePoint and OneDrive for regular Office files, and then uh, all those large video files, they would be hosted in this separate application called a Microsoft Stream. So let me click on Stream from my um, Microsoft 365 App Launcher. Now, uh, at the moment, of course, um, Microsoft has already switched to this Stream on SharePoint point modern stream but let me i still have this link over here it actually tells me i can still go to stream classic so let me show you what it kind of looked like uh in the past what stream uh, looked like in the past so i'm going to uh click on that let me uh open a new tab and let's see and let's wait till it loads uh, this is what stream uh looked like we call it now stream classic in the past and it was essentially um you know the platform to host videos and the way it worked it was kind of similar to youtube all right you could create you know different channels for example you might have um you could have had maybe a chart onboarding channel or marketing channel and uh you could create all those different and store different videos uh, and they pretty much had the same you know functionality you know in terms of uh, video experience you know like you know player and people could comment and uh, like the videos and then so on uh, but long story short all right long story short uh, this whole platform was kind of you know uh, was kind of disconnected um, yeah, I think I migrated uh, all these videos from here, so they're not available. But in any case, um, you know, all this platform uh, was kind of disconnected from the rest of SharePoint, all right? Uh, in SharePoint, we had um, all this uh, amazing document management capabilities and, um, you know, retention and compliance uh, features. We had none of that with Stream. It was kind of disconnected. So all the video files were essentially you know, had um, <clears throat> some unique and different kind of uh, were treated differently, all right? Um, so um, that has changed. That has changed uh, when a few years ago, Microsoft uh, totally revamped Stream and essentially um, they went away with this classic uh, Stream platform. And essentially what happened was they now um, um, essentially migrated Stream to uh, SharePoint and OneDrive. So what that means is that uh, now the videos are not, uh, video files are not really treated any differently than regular documents, all right? So you might essentially, the same place where you would store, you know, the same library where you might store, um, you know, regular Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF files, the same library you can now store video files as well. So they're not treated uh, differently at all. Yeah, there might be, of course, some larger files, but they're not treated any any differently than the um, the other uh, type of files. And what you get with this transition is, you know, essentially all, all the document management capabilities of SharePoint and OneDrive, right? You can, um, you know, create, uh, share them. You could, you know, uh, rely on version history. <clears throat> you could now, you know, synchronize them, you know, the whole library. So essentially uh, videos got <clears throat> the same treatment video files as the regular, the regular files. Uh, now, uh, if I now go to, uh, let me just open up Stream again, and I think at this point I would like the modern uh, version of it. Let me just refresh. Here we go. Um, so when you click on Stream, you kind of get this splash page, and essentially think of it as almost um, like a splash page you get with lists or OneDrive, right? Essentially now, with all the files stored in OneDrive and SharePoint, the splash page pretty much aggregates all those different video files that you store in all these different locations in uh, SharePoint and OneDrive, all right? Uh, but once again, you know, all the files, all the files now reside uh, in SharePoint video files, that is, 
reside in SharePoint and OneDrive. And another big thing um, of what this, um, you know, essentially what this means is that uh, the, you know, if you, let's say, apply retention and, you know, compliance policies, right, to your sites, they would now apply to the video files as well. So again, no difference whether it's a, an MP4 file or an Excel document, uh, essentially it falls under the same document management capabilities, all right? <clears throat> now, uh, one last thing I want to show you. So um, uh, one big change that also ha occurred was, um, um, you know, what was happening to recordings, all right? Uh, you know how in Teams, when you record, um, let's say your Teams meeting, Depending on where you recorded it in, uh, it would also be saved either to SharePoint or, or OneDrive. So if I recorded, let's say uh, it was like a one-on-one -on -one meeting with someone, what happens in your OneDrive, you will now get to see the folder called recordings. And this is where the uh, files, the rec recorded Teams meetings will reside. If you did the same uh, on, um, um, you know, in a, in a group, for example, in a channel, uh, on a on a Microsoft team, uh, once again you get a folder within that particular channel on the SharePoint side, and this is where the recordings will reside. So once again, <clears throat> you know, essentially instead of files being saved to the classic stream, they're now saved in in a SharePoint document library or OneDrive, depending on where you <clears throat> you know where you held uh, the meeting, I guess. Right now, <clears throat> there are actually many ways. Uh, to kind of manipulate these videos, and I, uh, I already um, actually recorded a number of them on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check it out. But there are a number of ways on how you can display the videos. Let's say you have a bunch of MP4 files in your library and you want to present them on a page. There is now a way, there are a few ways to embed them, and I actually, as a matter of fact, already recorded a number of videos on that. You can also and you can also create playlists through Microsoft List functionality. So there are lots of uh, cool options, obviously, to kind of manipulate and work with the files once they're in SharePoint. And once again, some of those videos are already on my <coughs> YouTube channel. All right, so um, that's all I really wanted to do in this particular video. Just wanted to kind of explain the transition, uh, what has occurred, and of course, at some point, and Microsoft, I think, is pretty clear about that. Um, they will pretty much disable the classic stream. So going forward, it's going to be stream on SharePoint, the modern stream. Um, so uh, I will definitely uh, take advantage of that functionality. But for now, um, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully, you you found it informative. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.